All right, so my take in this video is only a notch above room temperature, but I still feel the need to turn off my comment section, and, and that's how you know I'm talking about Battlefield. Oh boy, I can't wait to remove even more of my internet credibility. Look, I know emotions are high right now because Halo and Call of Duty and Battlefield are all fighting for your time this winter, but can we at least be a little civil? And for the sake of this video, at least for the duration of this video, can we just shit on EA and DICE a little bit? Look, I've been playing a ton of the Halo Infinite tech test, and I have to say, I need a shower. I also have to say that the entire time I'm playing this tech test, all I can think about is, where the hell is Battlefield? It's distracting for me as an FPS YouTuber to know in, in, my, in my brain that there's a Battlefield, Halo, and Call of Duty game coming out, but unfortunately to my eyes, and to my experience, it only feels like a Call of Duty and Halo game are coming out. I mean, I have played an alpha, closed beta, and open beta of Vanguard. I have played two different technical tests for Halo Infinite, and I think there's another one starting on the first for Big Team Battle. Very excited for that. Meanwhile, I'm wondering, where the hell is the Battlefield footage? Like, why hasn't EA and DICE invited people out to play the game yet? Why don't I have my favorite Battlefield YouTubers covering the game, at least a closed content creator-only beta? Why not? I feel like if DICE had something ready for public consumption, EA would be pushing them to release it. Because there is no way EA and DICE are happy that everybody's Twitter timelines are covered in Halo, and Call of Duty. Maybe it's a strategic play. Maybe they want the uh, betas and tech tests for Halo and Call of Duty to be over, and then they can take over your timeline so they're not competing for publicity. But I feel like I would like for them to compete for publicity. Because if we start getting betas and stuff in like mid-October, then I'm sorry. Doesn't that only give them a month to tweak things after the beta? That's not horrible, but we could at least ask for better. I mean, Battlefield 1's beta was pretty close to its launch as far as I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, but we actually had footage of the game by that point. They had celebrities and YouTubers playing Battlefield 1 and having footage from capture events and stuff to show people. So what's the difference here? Oh, it's worse. I've put like 20, 25 hours into Halo and Call of Duty over these last couple months, and I've put zero seconds into Battlefield. That's depressing. This doesn't mean that Halo's gonna be good and COD's gonna be good and Battlefield's gonna suck. It means, what the hell is going on? And more importantly, why are people pre-ordering? Why are you pre-ordering before the night before? Digital versions aren't going to go out of stock. Physical versions are not gonna go out of stock either, likely. They, they, it's, it's Halo, it's COD, it's Battlefield. You're, you're not gonna run out of them. But when it comes to Battlefield, they haven't even given you a beta yet. So if you've pre-ordered already, I really, God, I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I think that the bank should contact you if you pre-order a game this early without any gameplay footage shown so far. Hello? Hello, this is US Bank, and I need to know if you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I am. Look, I'm a money-grubbing YouTuber. I want all of these games to succeed. If they're terrible, I can get some coverage out of it, but I can't cover them long-term. And while Call of Duty games come out every year, Halo and Battlefield games stick the fuck around. So if they're not good, there's no long-term prosperity for me there. It's only in my best interest for these games to do well. And it's at the top of my gaming-related concerns that people are pre-ordering Battlefield 2042 when they don't even respect you enough to show you what you're pre-ordering. Like the fact that there are people out there with last-gen consoles that have seen zero gameplay footage, have no idea how it's going to run. They're getting a downgraded experience, much like the Battlefield games were on 360. They won't be able to play with their Xbox Series X and PS5 friends, and they won't be able to play with their PC friends, and they've already pre-ordered. Like, that blows my mind that that's already happened, but any amount of pre-ordering right now is dumb. They are not going to run out of titles. They do not need your money right now. They do not need any confirmation at all. Whether you put $5 down or the full 60 down, they do not need any confirmation at all that they have your money. Like, yeah, if you pre-order on Xbox, they don't charge you until 10 days before the game comes out. Just wait until the day before the game comes out and preload it the night before. Make the developers serve you. Don't show them that they have your money just by having a title. 
Don't judge a book by its cover or a game by its cinematic, heavily curated and heavily edited trailers. I complained about this at E3. There was barely any gunplay in the Battlefield 2042 gameplay reveal. I've been letting this trailer play in the background. Where's the gunplay? They showed some off recently with the specialist trailer here, but this just looks unfinished. The guns have no recoil at all, they just sort of shoot. It's, it's very strange, it's like watching footage from like Modern Warfare 2 or something. It's tiny snippets of gameplay. And it's leaked gameplay that I can't even show any of it here because it's leaked, it's not supposed to be seen. EA and DICE aren't confident in anything they have to show it right now. So probably within this next week or within the next two weeks, we're going to see some footage. And that will be nice. But oh my god, stop going on and on about Battlefield being better than other games when Battlefield hasn't been riding that horse for a long time. Battlefield's been a mess of inconsistencies, delays, cancellations, bugs, and weird balance patches. Please do not mistake my criticism for hatred, but do not mistake Battlefield for a flawless franchise either. Thanks. Between DICE and EA's track record, the radio silence, the delay, I don't know how anybody's defending this game. I don't know how anybody's defending EA and DICE. I don't know why you would defend EA and DICE. They killed off Battlefront 2 and Battlefield 5 so that this game can live. And it's like it's already on life support. Please, for the love of God, understand that when you tell people that it's gonna be the best game this year, you're only using your imagination. I hope this video ages like milk. So comment Melky, the word Melky, in your comments so I know you got to the end of this very short video. Some of your attention spans could use a little work. I can see the viewer retention, the average viewer retention on a video, and sometimes it contrasts very poorly with the amount of comments and dislikes on a video, when I can tell that less than half of you even finish the video, and yet more than half of the, the, the ratings or dislikes or are nasty comments. I feel like you're just a little too impulsive. Again, I know emotions and tensions are high this year, but here's an idea. Touch, and I mean this literally, grass. See you when I see you. Goodbye.